Okay, so it's time to do a coating on them before I put the wheels on the car. So what I decided to use was the G Techniques C5 wheel armor. I've used this product a bunch of times on various different sets of wheels. And I find it to be really, really easy to apply. Uh, very forgiving, it's not, um, it's not too viscous. It goes onto the surface very easily. The solvent uh, wipes off very easily and the flash time is, you know, plenty of working time. I'll usually do probably, I don't know, about half of a wheel at a time, and then, yeah, wipe it off and then repeat. So I'm gonna do the um, the barrels first. I'm just gonna do one wheel at a time. I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna do the barrel, and then I will flip the wheel around, and I will do all of the face, and make sure that I get all of the high spots wiped out Make sure that there's nothing uh, nothing left behind. I definitely don't want to have any weird kind of rainbowing, you know, of areas that haven't been haven't been wiped. So I'm going to take my time with this. So the kit comes with the little microfiber applicators, which work really good because there are a couple of obviously little crevices in and around the corners of the spokes, and those will get in there quite nicely. Um, I do have some of these generic microfiber towels, which I pick up at Walmart. So these are great because you can just use them and throw away. These are super cheap. They're like 15 bucks for a roll of 75. So I do like using those for any of these kind of jobs. And then of course I have a couple of different, sorry, a couple of sets of rubber gloves. So you don't get any ceramic coating on your skin, which is definitely not advisable. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to video the whole process. There's a million uh, million videos out there of people ceramic coating wheels. It is not rocket science. You just wipe it on, wait about 60 seconds or so, and then just wipe it down and keep going until the whole thing's done. So yeah, I'll show you guys the finished result once I've got the wheels all coated. So I'm going to get started. So I wasn't going to video any of the coating, but just a little... A little bit of footage, I guess. I got one of these wheel stands so you can rotate the wheel so you can work on it in one place and not have to kind of mess around with it. And then I usually just use the valve stem as a reference. So I'll get that kind of at the halfway point and I'll just do half of the barrel at a time. Give it about 30 seconds, wipe it down with a clean microfiber, flip it over, give it a second wipe, rotate the wheel, do the other half. Again, repeat that with a fresh microfiber, flip of the towel, turn the reel around, and then I'll do the same thing on the face. And once that's all completed in a few minutes, I'll take a brand new fresh microfiber and go over the entire wheel one more time, just to make sure. Because once this kind of cures, it would be a pain to have to start using polishing compounds to try and get any high spots out. So the actual process is really quick, but I do find that these little wheel rotating kind of dollies make the process even easier. So I highly recommend this. I picked it up off of Amazon a couple of years ago. You can see the brand there, Roller Stand. Don't remember it being too expensive, but highly recommend it for anyone who does wheels on a you know semi-regular basis a couple of times a year. I think it's worth grabbing one of those. Fast forward about 48 hours and I've given the wheels plenty of time for the coating to fully cure. So according to G Technique, the coating should be good for one to two years of protection. I would be very surprised if the coating lasted two years, but I think maybe after one year, it would be a good idea to just give the wheels a good decontamination and a fresh layer of the coating. Maybe added a touch more gloss. These were already a kind of a semi-gloss finish, but it definitely added a little bit more pop to the metallic. Once again, a huge shout out to Bade Polish. I think he really knocked it out of the park with the powder coating job that he did for me. Came out absolutely awesome. Made sure that he got in all of the spokes, all the tight areas, so there's no kind of light areas, there's no missing powder anywhere. All the lug sockets came out perfect. So the tension to detail is really good. 
and all of the factory part numbers are much more visible now. I think that these wheels are definitely seen some spray paint at some point. Maybe somebody tried to freshen up the look of them and kind of sprayed the barrels and it kind of filled in the engravings because they were far, far less visible when I first got the wheels. But now that they've been chemically stripped and repowder coated, all of the engravings are just the way they should be. They're far more visible now. And it's nice to see them just to keep the authenticity of these. And you can see how all the backs of the hubs are nice and clean and it was properly masked off when he shot the powder coat so they don't look messy back there. You know, all the backs of the hubs look nice and clean. I have not dressed the tires yet. The tires are completely bare. So they're dying for some tire dressing to kind of get them to a nice kind of satin finish, just the way that I like them. Not too greasy looking, just nice and satin. So I will be transferring over the center caps and the factory lug nuts onto these wheels. And yeah, I already have the TPMS sensors, obviously. So I will have to sync them to the car, but that should be super easy. And we should be good to go. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with an installation part to this video. I'm not gonna set up a tripod while I jack up the car and take the wheels off. That's, you know, seen them that a million times, people putting wheels on a car. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back with you once I have the wheels all fitted up and we can see the end result of the new wheels. Okay, so it's the next morning. You guys ready to see the end result? Boom, there she is. So last night after I finished bolting all the wheels up, I did put two coats of tire dressing on. And the product I actually use is called Shine All by PNS. They're the same people that make Beadmaker, which is a really popular paint sealant. And it really does finish down nicely to more of like a satin finish. Again, this was two coats and it's water-based, so it doesn't kind of gunk up the tires. Hopefully it lasts a while. And I've only been using this product for the last sort of month. So still kind of figuring out if this is gonna be my permanent tire dressing that I go to, but I've got through most of the bottle and so far I really like it. Definitely looks nice on the new wheels. And the ceramic coating is definitely adding a little bit of pop. You can actually see the reflection from that, um, that bolt on the caliper. You can see how it reflects on the inside of the barrel. So there is a good amount of gloss. Hopefully it'll make keeping the wheels clean a little bit easier because the space is really tight in there, especially behind the caliper. You know, for me to get my wheel woolly in there, it's gonna be hard to get all the way around, but I'll get it done. I'm very pleased with the, the choice of uh, color. The graphite looks really smart on this car, I think. Suits the darker color wheels, obviously, because I have some black striping and uh, the splitter and on the back of the car as well. So <clears throat> the only other thing that I need to do is add some rock guards next because these wheels are so aggressive. They actually stick out past the fender. If you look at the way the tire, um, the, you know, the edge of the tire, the side wall, it actually sticks out past the fender, but certainly near the bottom here, this whole section at the side sticks out. So yeah, that's going to need some rock guards for sure. So I don't trash the paint. So I'll fit those on a coming couple of days. I have some on order already. So there you go. That's the end result with the new wheels. I am super, super pleased. She looks absolutely awesome. I think it's definitely kind of added to the width because of the wheels being so much more aggressive with the offsets. And also with how concave these faces are, they definitely give the car a lot of depth. 
from the three quarter shot here. I especially like how wide the rears are now with the 305s. Let's try and zoom in there and get some focus. Yeah, the 305s on the back look so, so nice. From the back of the car, you get the shadowing with the wider tires. It just looks so much better than the 275s that were on there. <laughs> and as far as the tire pressure sensors go, I just use one of these cheap Amazon tools. These are only about $15. They work really well. Super easy to do, saves you a trip to the tire shop, and very inexpensive. So if anyone's wondering about the cost of these wheels, to give you an idea of what I paid, these wheels with kind of used tires that will need replacing soon, tend to sell for about $2,000. And obviously the price goes up from there if you find a set that has really nice tires on them. And then the tires that I purchased I got these for, I think they were just about 1900 bucks. If you go for Pilot Sport 4S, those are even more expensive. They're more like 2000. If you go for the factory Goodyear Supercar 3s, those are only about 1400, but they're only a 200 tread wear. So you're gonna be replacing those far sooner. And although this car is not daily driven, I still wanted a tire that was gonna last a little while and also I think these won't be quite as sticky so they shouldn't throw rocks up as much so there's a lot of selection with the tires it just depends what your intended use is for the car this is not daily driven so I'm not going to put a ton of miles on this car to be honest the tires will probably need replacing because of age before um, before being worn down I don't see myself putting on enough miles to be able to wear these out so yeah, hopefully I'll be happy with them. I'm sure I will. So yeah, figure a couple thousand dollars for some used wheels. Another couple thousand if you went for some high-end tires. And then if you're unlucky, like me, and you need to refinish the wheels, then that's another several hundred dollars to get a powder coating done. So this project was not cheap. I think if I had to go over again... I would have just really held out to try and find some wheels that were as close to newest condition as possible. Um, I honestly thought when I bought them that the condition of the paint was going to be fine, that I wouldn't need to do anything to them, and it was just going to be a matter of putting new tires on them. So I had to take an L on that one and just get them repowder coated so that I was 100% happy with the end result. I could have definitely got a really good set of aftermarket wheels for the same money that I've put into these. But these are factory wheels, so they will hold their value a lot better than aftermarket wheels do. And it's nice to have factory parts, you know. I did the same thing with my Mercedes that I had. I put those C63 forged wheels on the car and I had them repowder coated as well. So I'm kind of following a similar path with this. You know, adding the best parts that I can from the, the manufacturer for an OEM plus kind of build. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to take the car out and I'm going to go get a nice, uh, nice spot to get some panoramic footage. So you guys can see the end result a little bit better. Don't have the best lighting in the garage and it's also a cloudy day. So yeah, I'll take her out. And you guys can see how she looks on the new wheels. So thanks to everyone for watching. Anyone who considers subscribing, I sincerely appreciate that. And hopefully you guys will stick around for some more videos in the future. All right, see you later.
Like a tidal wave 